quickly about uh, about Me Too movement. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me your reaction to what's ha unfolded over the last year. I won't put words in your mouth. You tell me. Well, there's certainly no shortage of evidence for reprehensible sexual behavior on the part of people who can use power to get away with it. So that's not so good. Um, the Me Too movement, I suspect it probably did some good things and some terrible things. So I would say that there is a dangerous proclivity to abandon the concept of the presumption of innocence. So in university campuses, for example, we're moving towards a preponderance of evidence model. I'm not very happy with that model. I think that's a very big mistake. The presumption of innocence is nothing short of a miracle and we abandon it at our extreme peril. So I'm not happy with that. I think the believe the victim idea is something that only a fool could, could, could conjure up because it opens the door to, to unbelievable opportunity for manipulation. Um, I think that I, I would disagree with you and slightly on that because I think what that means is what, what people are arguing for is don't instantly dismiss or disbelieve the victim, right? Which is a very no, different... No, that, that's partly what they're arguing for. There's thing. plenty of people who are arguing for the fundamental attitude to be believe the victim. So some people are, are arguing to not automatically disbelieve the victim, which is a perfectly reasonable thing to right. argue for, but it, that isn't where it ends.